What's going on, boys and girls? It's the Christmas season, and although we're not doing a Christmas meal right now, I wasn't even going to share this video with you guys. I was just going to make it. I said, you know what? This is such an easy recipe. I grew some butternut squash um, back this summer, and these things, I mean, they've been literally sitting here on the shelf, not refrigerated, you know, just in the kitchen, and they've probably been sitting there three months y'all and they're still good i was afraid that when i got ready to peel them they were just going to fall apart man these things are still just nice and healthy so if you want a you want a vegetable that you can grow and and it's got longevity and st things like that you've got to get you some butternut squash plus it's a really good tasting and a healthy vegetable but anyway we're going to make some butternut squash fritters here we go all righty so i've already shredded the um the butternut squash and that was one medium sized butternut squash and I just peeled it of course and then I cut it in half you know because one part's going to have the seeds in it, and the other part's just going to be the the uh, vegetable portion of it but I grated it all though so just wash your hands have you one of these little graters like this little doohickey right here that's what I use you're going to have two eggs going to have two um two onions or probably a, a small onion um Use whatever flour you want to use. We're going to use the uh, King Arthur measure for measure flour, one to one. Some granulated onion, some garlic powder, a little bit of seasoning salt, um, some oregano as well too. You could use some chives or whatever you like, whatever suits your taste, guys. So this is what we're using. So let's come start combining this stuff. All righty. So we're going to add the onions to our mixture. Going to add the two eggs. We got one and a half tablespoons of oregano, about a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder, a half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, and we're gonna have a half a cup of our flour. Now we're gonna give this a nice little mix. All righty, we got it nice and mixed up. Now you're just gonna get you a heavy bottom pan and put you some oil in there, and we're gonna fry these babies up. All right, guys, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the stuff inside of these rings so that we have some uniformity. Then I'm going to remove the rings. Like I said, it was a little bit cheating, but I wanted these things to be a certain way. I knew I knew it would be four of them. And then I just take my hand and, and remove this here, just like that. These things come in handy, guys. I don't care what nobody says. They come in handy and they work well. I'm going to let them go about three minutes per side, and then we're going to flip them. All right, y'all. Those look great. They're ready to come out. What's that doing up there right there? We gotta get that off. We don't want that. That's not gonna make them pretty. There we go. Gotta have them nice and pretty there. Let's take them out. Alrighty, now we gotta make them look pretty for you guys so y'all can see what they look like. They came out good. Um there's a little darkening. It's dark, y'all, but it's not burnt. You know, it looks dark, but it's not really burnt. Um the inside is gonna be nice and moist, so this came out good. You got to try you some butternut squash fritters if you want to. I'm having mine with a with a chuck steak and we're having some basmati rice. And so we're going to eat. So you guys have a great day. Hope you have a great Christmas. Peace. Oh, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell to get the little notification so that you can see when I post a video. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Peace on earth. Goodwill to men.